Good morning, everyone. We're so happy to, to be here today, and we want to welcome you all uh, present here, and also those that will be joining us throughout the media. You, uh, I would like you to feel welcome to this uh, uh, Sunday lecture. We will start with uh, with a prayer and uh, some reading and a prayer. People who hold grudges gather moral filth and substance substantively end up getting sick. You should not suffer because of wrongs done to you. If someone wants you to be unhappy, live joyfully instead. If someone wants to throw you off balance, remain stable. If an adversary plots to bring you down, keep your inner peace. The greatest pain for those who seek to make others unhappy is to see them unfazed by it. Be smart. Don't wear yourself out pointlessly. Okay, now with this beautiful message in mind, I take a deep breath and helping us to be in the present moment. Forgetting everything from the world outside. Giving ourselves permission to be here in the now so we can connect with our inner self, the divine that we have inside ourselves because we are divine creatures and we do have this inside ourselves. With this in mind, with our heart full of gratitude, we say thank you to our mentors and guides who's been helping us be here today in all our lives so we can open up our hearts and minds to receive those teachings and most of all that we can practice in our everyday lives helping us with our struggles ask Jesus, our divine creator, to bless our meeting and to help to inspire our friend Renato so he can also be an instrument of Jesus' works. Thank you, so be it. Thank you so much. <clears throat> and uh, for those that, uh, that that will be able to join us through the media, I uh, just need to say that I'm going to be removing our mask. And uh, the audience that we have here is... Uh, they're com uh, complying with uh, the regulations uh, for this pandemic, but just to let you know, I'll, I'll be removing my mask. And uh, today, uh, today's lecture is, uh, uh, the title of it is For Mediums. And uh, first, uh, we have to define what, what is a medium. Well, a medium is a person that is capable to unite two realms, the physical realm and the spiritual realm. And I will start reading 
from one of the scriptures from the Bible. And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall be shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, even on my male servants and female servants. In those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And this uh, uh, passage comes uh, from Acts uh, 2.17. And uh, while I was uh, reading and preparing for this talk, I've been thinking a lot of uh, what to say and what to express to you, but uh, there's so many things that this topic covers. And if we pay attention to what, what I just read about, what God had to say that he's going to pour out his spirit to every single one living in this planet. And I would say to everybody in the whole universe, not only to this planet. Um, I kept thinking while I was reading this that the kind of blessings that he's bestowing upon every single one of us that because of his infinite love to every single one of uh, children in, in his creation, he's pouring out his spirit to let us know that we can count on his love and his teachings and he's preparing us always for our future lives because we know, spiritists, that this is not the only incarnation that we're getting through. We had so many other ones in the past, and who knows how many more we're going to have in the future. Well, saying that, as introduction, I will read, the Lord determined that light should be available to every human being and penetrate everywhere through the voice of of spirits so that everyone could obtain the proof of immortality. And when I read this, I said, wow, this is very true. Through mediumship, he's uh, uh, letting us know that immortality is there for us. It may not be the immortality for our uh, conjunction of organs and systems that our physical body contains. But he's talking about the immortality of our spirits for every single one of his sons. And also reads here, it is for this purpose that the spirits manifest themselves today in all corners of the world and mediumship as one of the signs of the fulfillment of predicted times is discovering person, persons of all ages and walks of life, both in men and women, in children among the elder population. And uh, as the scripture says that he said he that all men they will have they will dream dreams and also for the children they will also in, at some point of, of their life will be able to prophesy and when, uh, when uh, uh, I read that it says that this light that should be available to everyone I'm just thinking like a big sun radiating all this light, all this knowledge to every single one of us. 
And what I'm trying to say now is that we all have a certain po uh, portion of mediumship, certain amount of that light in every single one of us. Unfortunately, I read that uh, there's about 95% of all mediums existing in, in this planet. Just 95%, they do not even care about it. And very few, they will be succeeding on this task, on this blessing that we can count on. Because I understand that every single one of us will have a little portion, just a little bit of portion of mediumship throughout our whole life. Whether we were children, we start seeing and manifesting things that we, we never, at that point, we were not capable to understand yet. But it was there. Such as perhaps seeing spirits, perhaps seeing visions of something. Uh, there's a phenomenon we call deja vu. And uh, when I heard that term, uh, I think I was myself about 10 or 11. I had myself, I had this vision. It was so funny because I knew that was coming into my life. There's things that I couldn't understand back then. I had the vision that I was inside of a place that I saw baby sharks baby uh, hammer sharks, uh, some other uh, uh, fishes in this tank. And I'm talking about, a, what was I, I think about 12 years old or something like that. And I, at that time, I never knew what it was. I didn't know why I saw that. I couldn't understand what it was. Then uh, I... Uh, I came uh, uh, to uh, America, to United States, and then I had the opportunity to go here at, uh, by the bay. I, I went to uh, SeaWorld. Hello. And to my surprise, uh, I, uh, I saw exactly the same vision I had, what, about 30 years before? There was this water uh, uh, tank in there with the same type of fishes or uh, animals that I, the sea animals that I saw in my vision. Then I understood what the term of deja vu meant. So every single one of us have a little bit of, of mediumship in ourselves. We were born like that. Some other ones, if that is our uh, or their uh, mission, of this, the purpose of this incarnation, they will sometimes they come with a very well developed mediumship. And whether or not they, they, they want to find out what it is, we all are called to, uh, to magnify that calling because it is a calling. Mediumship is a calling. And what is uh, mediumship? Uh, what is the purpose of mediumship? As I said before, is the connection from the spiritual world into the physical world. But there's something very important to that because what it is is the communication of those spirits to every single one of us, the manifestation of the spiritual world into the physical world. Because uh, through reading, I understood that our physical life, our physical world, is immersed inside of the spiritual world. Same thing, our physical world, all the planets, all the constellations that we have in the universe, we all immerse into that. We cannot say we're just proper for this earth. I would be lying if I was saying that we are just only for the earth. We're part of the whole universe. And there's so much things that we still have to learn. 
I had uh, I want to read it literally the next uh, uh, topic which says that the mediums are interpreters responsible for conveying to fellow humans the teachings of the spirits or rather they are material organs by which the spirits express themselves so as to render themselves intelligible to humans. Their mission is holy because it aims at opening the horizons of eternal life. So I read this and I said, wow. Most of us, when we're born, we never teach, neither in a school or more likely through our life uh, experiences. We start learning about that there is a spiritual world. Even though we all have, uh, in, at some point of our, our life, we have manifestations of the spiritual world, but most of the time we don't pay attention to it. But that doesn't mean that it's there. With this in mind, I came out to conclusion and I read it literally that we are uh, capable or in, uh, for the interpretation of those spirits that they're eager to show the type of life and the type of uh, happiness that they're encounter, encounter, encountering we're in the spiritual world. We all have that capability. Every single one of us. All we need to do is pay attention to that. I also learned that the most important things in our life are not perceptible to our eyesight. Meaning that the invisible world, invisible to our our vision is more important than the one that you can really see the material world. In other words, the spiritual realm is more important than the physical realm in the sense that there is more advance in knowledge there. That advancement that I'm talking about, sometimes I cannot even imagine how powerful it is how uh, solemn it is. It's something that sometimes my crazy way of thinking sometimes because I put so many questions in my mind most of the time, trying to think and figure out what exactly exists in the, in the spiritual world. And it calls my attention because I knew since I was uh, starting the, the med my medical career, I understood and I had the feeling that life will not end when somebody, uh, somebody's human body dies. When those uh, organs and systems in our body, they fail to continue on living or manifesting themselves in a human body, I knew and I have for a fact the, uh, the assurance that that was not it, the whole thing. I knew there was something else after, after somebody, the human body dies. Well, and uh, what the, uh, the spirits, they come to us. What are the purpose of the spirit to come to us? Or why are they manifesting through us through mediumship. And that was a question that I had before and and now I just start realizing that the reason why they're communicating with us is because they're teaching us things that they already know there because I'm assuming they've been here on this planet before or they have an incarnation before. But now because of their uh, they're a little bit higher in, in, uh, uh, in the spiritual uh, scale. They, they want to come back and teach us to prepare us for, for us to become like them and uh, for our uh, 
uh, helping us in our evolution. The spirits come to educate humans about their future destinies in order to bring us back to the path of good. And they are here not uh, to stimulate human greed or ambition. And it says this awareness should, should pervade all mediums so that they do not misuse their faculty. Uh, it is... Uh, in a way funny to to find that sometimes a person this uh, hears that well that person is a medium oh it's a seer it's a revelator well i want to go there and, and uh, perhaps that person can tell me my future can tell me the numbers that i should choose for to for me to win the lottery and most people uh, uh, that they uh, not not most people, but some people they come uh, looking in uh, in to the society of the spiritists. Some of them they they even come by curiosity, or they might want to find out if they can be helped for the future. And it's funny because we're not here to do that. To please others or some other videos perhaps they know that they know the uh, this a little bit more the, the the spiritual realm that may feel bigger or better than any other people uh, I remember that the first medium I got in contact with and taught me so many things uh, that medium had uh, uh, some uh, faculties that they, I could not understand. Uh, back then, I was uh, starting the medical school, and to my surprise, I realized that this medium was seen with her eyes closed. And I said, how can that be that this person is not using her physical eyes and is seen everywhere? Another faculty that this medium had, she could read my mind. Meaning that I didn't have to ask her anything, but whatever I was thinking, she was answering my thoughts, my questions that I had. That's the second thing that struck my mind. And I wanted to know at that uh, time, how can this be? How can a person can see with her eyes closed and start realizing and doing all these things that for me back then, they were very strange. I had no explanation how that person was doing it. But, and then I, I kept thinking and I was uh, uh, pondering in the back of my mind then, how, the, how can this possible be? And she answered me. I said, you like to, to learn. You like to read. You like to uh, ponder about these things. I didn't ask her anything. I didn't say anything. But she started answering what I was uh, thinking. She said, I'm going to give you a couple of uh, uh, book, uh, books that you want to read and you're going to learn about this. It is not my surprise right now that we're reading the books from Alain Kardec. And that's what she told me. To make this long story short, uh, she had the capability not only to heal, to prolong life, to foresee things that back then I could not understand. And what I'm trying to say to you today is that so many important things that there in our life, living around us, around in the environment, that our eyes cannot see. Even the physics, the biology, the chemistry, nowadays, they still cannot define what is 
surrounding us every single day. I came across to the knowledge of the universal, universal fluid that I didn't know it exists. A fluid that can make you continue your life, your physical life. And it's everywhere. In everywhere in the universe is provided for us. And that is the light that I was talking about earlier because the scripture said that I will uh, uh, I will deliver my light through my spirits to every single one of you. It is not strange to us to understand that in other worlds that they're in a higher degree of the scale in spiritism, they're a lot higher than us. That's not a mystery anymore. We know there are other types of or forms of life in other worlds. Whether they're near to our, our planetary system or some of them they're far away. And we are still babies in the knowledge of those planets, that they're more advanced than, than the planet Earth. But we're little by little, we're moving to that direction. And I'm so happy to hear that. That gives me happiness because today I can understand that our purpose here on this planet is not wasted. We have the capability inside of us, inside of our spirit, which controls every single thing around ourselves to every single one. And each spirit is specific for that particular person. It's like a, a, if I wanted to compare it to something in genetics, it's, it's, it's a code for every single person that distinguishes one human being to, from another one. It also says here that if we want to keep the assistance of the good spirits, we must work in our own improvement, meaning that we have to grow and learn uh, morally and intellectually. Going back to this medium, it was uh, for me something that was uh, amazed that I found that this medium, she never went to school. She didn't know how to write or read. But I said, how can a person do all these things, read your mind, heal you, without even going to school at all? I may have the the question, is the schooling really necessary in order for us to, to do these things? But the, the, the reason tells me that it is necessary to prepare us intellectually and morally in order for us to climb up to this, uh, uh, this spiritual ladder that we have to climb. We have to grow morally because we have to avoid anything that might detract us from our providential purpose. As I said before, this mediumship is a blessing and a very huge one that every single one of us can, can acquire. All we need to do is prepare us morally and intellectually to perform and focus exactly to that to that horizon. And it's funny because the more I learn, that horizon expands and expands and gets bigger and bigger and greater. It's uh, uh, funny because I was saying that there are mediums already existing that they start uh, even sometimes taking advantage of these faculties. 
that if they're not careful, uh, if they don't uh, perform this duty carefully, they may lose that leadership. And more importantly, we have to be happy and we have to thank our, uh, our Creator for this blessing. Because some of us, or some person, they do not even appreciate this blessing. And some of them, they don't even care about it, even though it's every day in their lives. I, I have a, a friend of mine that I know she has blessings, spiritual blessings. She can see visions, which because I what just read is not, it's not really a mystery anymore. She sees visions and she tells me the visions. And I said, hey, listen, you need to prepare yourself, develop your mediumship in order for you to start becoming and grow on this, on this blessing. Uh, but until now, she doesn't care. She doesn't pay attention to what I'm asking her. But I just, I just told her that because she needs to know that she has that. She was born with that. And she needs to develop. She will develop it probably in this incarnation or maybe in the next or in the next until she finds out that that's something that she was born with and she needs to to manifest that for the purpose of helping others in order for that light to come to them. Uh, this uh, uh, topic is very, very, very extensive. Very, we can say so many things about this. I know back then when uh, this scripture was written, there were very little knowledge about mediumship. But now we're so privileged to live in a world that is full of mediumship. A world that has a lot of uh, knowledge already of those things that we, we, were, uh, we were not capable before to understand. But now if we really pay attention to this, to these blessings, we can grow all together for a better world, for a better uh, uh, encountering one another by us to doing those things that our Savior Jesus Christ taught us to love one another. And this mediumship is precisely that shows the love of the spirits to all of us that they're here on this planet. And uh, uh, as I come to the end, I just can, uh, I like to express my testimony that this knowledge of mediumship and the whole spiritual uh, knowledge has been a huge blessing in my life, in my family, in everyone around me that the love of Jesus Christ and the love of our Creator is there for a single one of us to give us the necessary courage and the strength to continue on in our lives, not for this world, but for the next existence that we will encounter. And I'm willing to take that next step without any fear to go back to the spiritual world so I can learn more about this. And I say these things in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much.